Next we have a couple personal anecdotes uh, by Lisa, Willie, Karen, Donna, and Michael. So I'll give it to Lisa first to start off. And then if you guys can remember that order of people, or if not, I can help you out. Oh, okay, great. Hi. Um, so we've heard from Tony that extracurriculars are really important, both to make you a more competitive applicant when applying to college, but also as a chance for you to explore non-academic interests and just have fun. Um, my main extracurricular in high school was swimming, and I personally think that sports are one of the most worthwhile activities that you can get involved in. Um, I started swimming competitively when I was in fourth grade, and then by the time I was in high school, I swam both for my uh, club team Dynamo and also on uh, my high school's varsity team. Um, I think that sports often get discredited uh, as a time waster, especially by lots of Asian parents. And um, But I think that swimming taught me a lot of really important lessons about life, and I even wrote my common app application, I mean essay about it, so there's that. Um, the issue of time commitment was really was real. Uh, in high school, I spent 20 or more hours a week at practice, and I spent lots of weekends at some meets, uh, took up the entire weekend. But this just meant that I was forced to learn time management and how to prioritize my um, activities early on. If I had even like 15 minutes before practice started, I would get out my book and like read about AP World or whatever, or I would study for an upcoming test. So, um, Swimming taught me how to maximize my time most effectively, and it also taught me uh, to know my own limits, because after all, there's only 24 hours in a day, and you can't do everything, and it's really important to keep a very balanced lifestyle. Uh, I also think that sports build character. Uh, I learned how to be disciplined by waking up at like 5.30 twice a week, and eating healthy, and I went to practice every day, even when there were so many other things I'd rather do, like hang out with my friends, or even just sleep. Um, you, through sports, you learn how to deal with failure, and you learn to see um, how directly hard work can lead to big payoffs. Um, in team sports, you learn how to work with others, which is something that colleges like to see, and in individual sports, you learn how to rely on yourself, which I think is also really important. Sometimes swimming really sucked. It was really boring, and I wanted to quit, but in sticking with it, I showed dedication, and I learned how to persevere, and I think that that's how this really helped me in my college application. Um, I found something that I was passionate about and I stuck with it. So I think that no matter what you want to do in high school, it's just important that you do it well. If you are really passionate about something, I think it's worth it to dedicate time to it and that you can always find time to do what you love. Right. Hi everyone, I'm Michael, as I said before. Um, I'm still a senior at Westminster, so I haven't actually had any college experiences, but I've had some high school experiences which I thought were very meaningful. So, um, those of you who don't know me, I, came, I went to Westminster in ninth grade, and I really didn't know anyone there. I was, um, like, I, I really didn't know the school at all, I don't, so I didn't know anyone there, I didn't know any the teachers. I was really putting myself in a very different um, situation that, I, that most people are used to. Um, so I didn't know exactly what kind of activities I wanted to do, what kind of um, clubs I wanted to join. So I was just kind of searching for um, something that I would really like. And after my sophomore year, I found that the best thing about Westminster for me was um, kind of the community and the students, the faculty. Everyone was so, so warm and, and nice to be around. So I decided to run for student government because I think student government can make positive changes to the community, which um, support support the school and help it grow. So I, I decided to run for student government. I didn't know like how I would do in the elections or anything. I just cared, I just um, wrote a speech, said what I cared about, and I guess it worked. People voted for me and I became junior class president. So um, as junior class president, I didn't know exactly what student government um, people usually did, did, but I decided to create something called a club fair. And that was just a way to since people at Westminster, a lot of people, um, they do so many different activities and no one really knows what's going on. Um, so I, that was a way to show like everyone what, what everyone was doing and what, what can be, because like, to help people like me who in ninth grade didn't really know what, what they wanted to do, this club fair kind of helped new kids and freshmen um, get involved in high school. So I think something special about student government is that it's available in every school. Every, every, anyone who wants to get involved in 
um, politics or helping the school community, it's, it's really available for anyone. And I usually find that um, the people who get elected to positions in student government are the people who are the most genuine about it and not, not the people who are just doing it for college, which it should not be about ever. Like none of these activities should be just for like some kind of formula. And, that, and I think that's what it, it, it showed through in my application. So I started student government in 11th grade, which usually people don't think you should start activities in 11th grade. But since I, um, I, I kind of found that, it's like high school's a process. So I found that um, through my process, and it didn't have to be something I was doing since I was like five years old, like um, maybe like a sport or something that you had to show a lot of commitment for. But I, I was committed once I joined, and that, and that really showed through my application. So I encourage, I encourage those of you who want to run, who might be sh maybe even shy to run for student government, to um, do so. And give the mic to Willie. Um, so before I go forward, can I ask? You all see your name, you can't hear it in English. Okay, cool. <laughs> 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 so, yeah. uh, second, how many people are, how many students are in elementary school, or you are a parent of a student in elementary school right now? Okay, what about middle school? And then finally, high school. Okay. So, do most of you guys have a general understanding of like what the Common App is? Does anyone not know what the Common App is? Okay, cool. So, a lot of these questions you can come and ask us afterwards. Uh, this is we don't have that much time. What we're doing right now is like really quickly giving an introduction to all of these things. We'll be around. We'll eat dinner here afterwards. So, when you're done, just come and ask us about these, and we can tell you more in depth. Like whatever I'm about to say in the next two minutes is probably not going to be very significant. Um, sorry. You can go back to true. Um, so my, mine says academic clubs. Um, I'm not sure why it says that. Um, I was in debate in high school, and uh, I was a Boy Scout. So um, I think really quickly about introduction to both of these. Uh, Boy Scouts is really interesting. Um, it's a big deal with a lot of, uh, I guess, like Westerners, American people. Um, not a lot of Asians haven't heard about it. Um, and I think it's underexplored. Um, it's really fun. It's, you go camping, you learn a lot of leadership activities. Um, you, you do a lot of leadership things which teach you like leadership skills. Um, and, uh, and yeah, that's Boy Scouts. Um, you get to meet a lot of really cool people uh, who dedicate their lives to you know, the next generation. Even um, you know, some of our adult leaders who uh, are not doing very well themselves financially are there every week helping us, and that's like, you know, that touches you. Uh, the second thing is debate. Um, I joined debate in ninth grade, um, and this is an activity in which if you are a kid who is doing debate, your parents will have no idea what you're doing. Um, and that could be good. Um, in some way. Um, so both of those things, uh, if you want to ask me more about it, I can tell you afterwards. One interesting thing I can note is just like how we came about to do these extracurricular activities. Um, so Boy Scouts, I wanted to go camping. That was it. Uh, I went camping a few times, and then I realized there's this whole other side of Boy Scouts where you like advance in rank, and you do all of these requirements, and you get these different ranks, and eventually you become an Eagle Scout, and it's a big deal, and like, Obama sends you a letter. Um, on the other side, debate, I literally went because it was like the first, it was one of the first meetings after school, I went and I realized I really liked it. My debate coach, who, that's her only job now, she does not teach another class, she just is a debate coach, she went to her first debate meeting because she uh, missed her bus on her way home. And so a lot of these activities aren't planned. Um, they just come about. And so allow that to happen if you want.